India's record of progress in agriculture over the past four decades has been quite impressive. From 115 million ton in 1975 to 265 million ton in 2013-14, the Indian agriculture has maintained pace with rising demand for food. The major sources of agricultural growth during this period were the high yielding varieties, fertilizers and engineering inputs. Engineering and technological input in agriculture is playing significant role in not only increasing production and productivity but also profitability of the farmers. To accelerate the mechanization of Indian agriculture, the Indian Council of Agriculture Research established the Central Institute of Agricultural Engineering CIAE at Bhopal in 1976. CIA is actively engaged in research and development on mechanization for production and post-production agriculture for efficient utilization of inputs and resources at the farmer's field. Since its establishment in 1976, the institute has developed more than 100 technologies related to crop production, post-harvest technology and value addition, renewable energy and water management. With a team of highly qualified scientists and technical experts, future R&D at the institute has been focused to promote commercial agriculture with its mandated activities. The mandate. Research and development in agricultural mechanization. Networking for R&D collaboration at national level. Human resource development. Technology sharing and transfer. The organizational structure of CIAE for carrying out its R&D and technology transfer activities consist of six divisions. Agricultural Mechanization Division Agro-Produce Processing Division Agricultural Energy and Power Division Irrigation and Drainage Engineering Division Center of Excellence on Soybean Processing and Utilization and Technology Transfer Division Two research and extension centers. Krashi Vigyan Kendra at CIAE Bhopal and a regional center at Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. We also have four All India Coordinated Research Projects AICRPs AICRP on farm implement and machinery, AICRP on utilization of animal energy, AICRP on energy for agriculture and agro industries, and AICRP on ergonomics and safety in agriculture. To facilitate its R&D and extension activities, the major centralized facilities in the institute are a well laid out 93 hectare of modern research farm, computer aided design cell for designing of research prototypes, workshop and prototype production center for fabrication of research prototypes. Instrumentation cell to facilitate experimentation. Agricultural Knowledge Management Unit. A well-equipped library to serve the needs of scientists and other research personnel. Agricultural Technology Information Center. A single window outlet for dissemination of technologies. A guest house for stakeholders and an international training center for foreign participants. Agricultural Mechanization Division The Agriculture Mechanization Division carries out R&D on technology and machinery for production agriculture, conservation agriculture and precision farming. The laboratory facilities includes Precision Farming Laboratory equipped with various instruments and Sensor for Development of Precision Farm Equipment Tillage and Soil Dynamics Laboratory to study Soil Tool Interaction Seeding and Planting Laboratory for studying performance of seed drills and planters Plant Protection Laboratory with Computerized Data Acquisition System for designing of plant protection equipment Ergonomics Laboratory for refining the man-machine compatibility for safe and comfortable operations. 
animal energy laboratory to facilitate draftability studies and designing animal drawn equipment. Testing laboratory for evaluation and quality control of commercially manufactured agricultural equipment. The prominent technologies developed by the division are three row seed gum fertilizer drill, pneumatic planter, inclined plate planter, multi millet planter, plastic mulch laying machine, raised bed planter, broad bed farmer cum seeder, vegetable transplanter, hydraulic platform for orchard management, self propelled reapers, high capacity threshers, straw reaper with built in trailer, agro produce processing division. The agro produce processing division carries out R&D related to appropriate machinery and processes for post harvest operation, value addition and loss reduction. The important laboratory facilities available in the division are Engineering Properties Laboratory which helps in determining engineering properties of different food materials. Machine Vision Laboratory for non-destructive testing of food materials and distinguishing crop varieties. The division also has pilot plants for training and demonstration. Modern Dal Mill Pilot Plant is a continuous feed type dal mill capable of milling 500 kg per hour of different types of pulses. Agro Processing Center functioning as a model adaptable in rural areas for various agro processing operations. The important technologies developed are Pedal cum power operated grain cleaner, dal mill, millet mill, potato peeler and slicer, ripening chamber, fruit and vegetable graders, agricultural energy and power division. The agricultural energy and power division executes R&D programs on efficient utilization of non-renewable and renewable energy sources. Research facilitating laboratories in this division includes Biofuel Laboratory for studying various biomass based solid, liquid and gaseous fuels as a green source of energy. Farm Power Laboratory facilitates engine testing, emission analysis, noise and vibration studies and operators workplace design. Energy Enclave provides live demonstration and outdoor experimentation on biomass gasification, charring and briquetting technology for electricity generation and solar refrigeration system. Agricultural Energy and Power Division has developed promising technologies like Double Reflector Solar Cooker Fixed Dome Type Biogas Plant Multi-Fuel Cooking Stove Solar Tunnel Dryer Biomass Briquetting for Electricity Generation and Solar Based Refrigeration System for Preservation of Perishable Commodities Irrigation and Drainage Engineering Division Irrigation and Drainage Engineering Division executes R&D programs on irrigation and drainage equipment systems for improving systems efficiency to save water and energy. The Irrigation and Drainage Engineering Division is equipped with SCADA-based computerized testing system, PLC-based automation and precision instrumentation for measuring performance of centrifugal pump sets and drippers. Technologies developed are the real-time precision irrigation system for auto application of water as demanded by the plant, fertigation system for precise application of nutrients to get more crop per drop, the tractor drawn mole plow technology and the permanent subsurface drainage system improves drainage in water logged soils. This significantly increases the productivity of waterlogged areas. 
Center of Excellence on Soybean Processing and Utilization. The Center of Excellence on Soybean Processing and Utilization is engaged in developing technologies leading to domestic and industrial use of soya bean for nutritional security. The center includes biochemistry laboratory, microbiology laboratory, fermentation laboratory, which are equipped with precision instruments. The division also has pilot plant facilities to produce different soya-based products. The technologies developed by the division includes soya paneer plant, and products like soy milk, soy paneer, defatted soy flour, soy biscuits, multi-nutrient biscuits, soy butter and other soy fortified products. Technology transfer division Technology transfer division is mainly engaged in promotion and commercialization of equipment and technologies developed by the institute. The important activities undertaken by the division are Capacity building of subject matter specialists, extension officers, manufacturers, entrepreneurs, and foreign participants. Conduct outreach activities like exhibitions, demonstration, and interaction meets across the country. Production of prototypes and supply throughout the country. Technology transfer activity is further strengthened through Prashi Vigyan Kendra at CIAE Bhopal and regional center at Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. The Krashi Vigyan Kendra conducts vocational training for farmers and rural women. It also conducts frontline demonstrations of technologies for popularization and adoption. The regional center at Coimbatore has developed and commercialized several technologies suitable for southern states. Thus, the Central Institute of Agricultural Engineering is committed to increase the growth of Indian agriculture through development of modern farm machines and techniques. Selective mechanization of Indian agriculture is essential to increase agriculture productivity, to enhance input use efficiency, to achieve timeliness in farm operations, and to reduce drudgery of agriculture workers. Therefore, crop-specific, location-specific, operation-specific, improved tools and equipment need to be identified, developed, and promoted. To address these issues, the ICRP on farm implement and machinery the scheme started in 1975. The scheme has 25 cooperating centers located in different parts of the country and the cooperating center is located at Central Institute of Agriculture Engineering Bhopal. The scheme is mandated to identify the gaps and future needs of different regions of the country with regard to agricultural mechanization and address that through research and development. Prototype production testing and demonstration of improved implements, research and development. Since inception, more than 270 farm tools and equipment have been developed by different centers under the scheme. Out of these, 30 manually operated, 18 animal drawn and 130 power operated equipment have been commercialized. Few technologies worth highlighting here are Tractor Operated Check Basin Former it forms check basins of 2 by 6 meter size and has an effective field capacity of 0.15 hectare per hour. Tractor mounted raised bed seeder. It can sow 2 to 3 rows of wheat, maize, Bengal gram, cotton, moog, raya and groundnut crops on raised bed. Tractor operated 6 row small seed planter. It is suitable for sowing small seed like onion with adjustable plant-to-plant -plant spacing. It saves 50% in cost of operation 
and 80% in labor requirement as compared to traditional method. Tractor operated 6 row garlic planter. It is suitable for planting of garlic. It can plant 0.182, 0.21 hectare in 1 hour. Saves 82% in labor and 57% in cost of operation as compared to manual planting. Tractor operated 3 row rotary weeder. It is suitable for weeding and interculture in row crops such as sugarcane, cotton and maize. Field capacity is 0.24 hectare per hour. SRI power weeder. It is suitable for weeding inline sown and SRI paddy. Field capacity is 0.09 hectare per hour. Tractor operated air assisted sprayer. It is suitable for chemical application in field crops such as cotton, soybean, sugar cane, pigeon pea etc. Pomegranate spraying system. It is equipped with ultrasonic sensors and programmer. Sensors help in saving chemical up to 45 to 50% with hollow cone nozzles. Tractor operated groundnut digger elevator. It digs the vines with pods and elevates them. The machine saves 65% in labor and 32% in cost of operation. Tractor mounted flail type harvester come chopper. It can simultaneously do harvesting, chopping and loading. It is suitable for harvesting bajra, sorghum, maize, barsim and oats. Tractor mounted root crop harvester come elevator. It is suitable for digging carrot, potato, garlic and onion. The field capacity varies between 0.21 to 0.28 hectare per hour depending on the crop. Tractor operated cassava harvester. It is suitable for digging and harvesting of cassava. Multi-crop thresher for seed spices. It is suitable for efficient threshing and cleaning of cumin and coriander. It gives an output of 240 to 260 kg per hour. Power operated onion detopper come greater. It is suitable for detopping and grading of onion crop. Detopping capacity is 235 kg per hour. Prototype manufacturing. Prototype manufacturing workshops are functional at 8 centers of the project and carry out multiplication of research prototypes. They are supplied to other center for multi-location trials. During 11 plan period, around 55,000 prototypes were manufactured and supplied by these centers. Prototype feasibility testing of improved farm equipment. Under prototype feasibility testing activity at 25 cooperating centers, newly developed and selected commercial equipment are tested for their feasibility to fill the identified mechanization gaps. Some successful technologies introduced through feasibility testing are Self-propelled 8-row rice transplanter Field capacity 0.15 hectare per hour Self-propelled and tractor-operated reaper binders Suitable for wheat and paddy Field capacity 0.4 hectare per hour for self propelled and 0.85 hectare per hour for tractor operated. Self propelled tangential axial flow combined harvester. Suitable for wheat, paddy, green gram, etc. Tractor operated straw chopper. Field capacity 4 hectare per day. Tractor operated straw beller. Field capacity 0.3 hectare per hour. Power operated groundnut thresher. Output capacity 720 kg per hour. Frontline demonstrations of proven farm equipment. The frontline demonstration activity aims to bridge the mechanization gaps in different regions of the country. FLD involves large-scale demonstration of new technologies on farmers' fields for popularization. 
frontline demonstrations also help in efficacy testing of new equipment and obtaining feedback for further improvement. Indian agriculture employs 263 million agriculture workers out of that 37% are women workers. The AICRP on ergonomics and safety in agriculture started in 1999 to address various issues of agriculture workers related to drudgery reduction, efficiency improvement, enhancing safety on farms and minimizing occupational health problems in agriculture and allied activities. The scheme has 11 cooperating centers and coordinating unit is located at Central Institute of Agriculture Engineering, Bhopal. The R&D program on drudgery reduction and farm safety are given high priority in this project. The mandate of project is increasing productivity, reducing drudgery and health problems of agricultural workers using ergonomical interventions, accidents in agriculture, the Agricultural Accident Survey conducted under the project has shown that 5% accidents were fatal and the major sources causing accidents were 31% due to farm machines, 34% due to hand tools and 35% due to snake bites, fallen well, lightning, heat stroke etc.